Welcome back, everybody, for our second-to-last scenario in Charles Martel. This has been quite the epic saga. It's a nine-scenario campaign, and several of the videos have been two parts, so... Let's see what we're doing now down in Narbonne, uh, which is from uh, Tariq Ibn Ziyad III, as uh, I think the little intro thing says. I remember when I fought in Spain against the Moors. Their faces still appear in my dreams. I don't know why I did that voice. I remember putting the torch to Zaragoza and watching over the battlefield over all those who had been slain and torn under the savage, savage Moorish riders. I could not fathom how my grandfather was not tortured by those nightmares himself after the Battle of Tours. Whoops, whoops. Uh, my grandfather, Prince Charles, prepared his invasion for a year, perhaps more, pondering it. He studied the ways the Moors fought and educated his lords and knights in formations to counter their charges and cavalry archers. He eventually de declared in a war meeting that uh, all, from the Pyrenees to the Danube, should belong to the Frankish Empire in unity. But then he also declared that whilst the Moorish menace was looming in the distance, there would be no peace. The Moorish capital of Septimania was the city of Narbonne, a great fortress that was captured from the Visigoths only thanks to the unification of two entire Umayyad armies. Whoever controlled Narbonne controlled Septimania. The governor of Narbonne was to hold the city until the Moorish armies arrived to relieve them. They were led by Umar ibn Halid, warlord of Al-Andulas. His Berbers uh, and Saracens were no rabble. They were trained cavalrymen with plenty of experience. Umar was certain of his victory. Up, up. The Umayyad army wants to stop the siege of Narbonne. Do not let them, my prince. It's time to eradicate the Moorish presence once and for all and send them back to Africa. We do not have time to construct fortifications. We need to use our standing armies to protect ourselves. All right, destroy the Umayyad war camps to stop the Moorish invasion into Frankish, uh, the Frankish Empire. Don't let the Umayyad army breach the siege of Narbonne. Uh, while Charles Martel is alive, your heavy cavalry have plus one attack, and every eight minutes, new villagers will arrive to help you collect resources and build. Uh, you cannot build town centers and walls in this mission. Uh, you get, okay. Pop limit of 170, okay. You cannot construct uh, heavy trebuchets. Uh, Umar ibn Halid's reinforcements are on their way to Septimania. You must hold the Frankish army's position at all costs. Uh, locals will attempt to help you. Um, I need to gain their trust. Okay, do not try to attack Umar Ib ibn Halid. His army is too well entrenched. Alrighty, this is based on the Battle of Bear. Uh, our scouts report that uh, we're trying to capture Narbonne and its well-fortified fortress. Uh, Charles Martel are in our armies are severely weakened. Uh, how long can we hold on? The locals are hanging around. They cannot help you against the standing army, but they may be hiding resources that could help Charles Martel's forces. The Umayyad army is scattered and desperate. The Frankish army will be able to smash it uh, with one offensive, but Narbonne is still a priority for Charles Martel. He will need to meticulously eliminate all of their war camps to, to stop the invasion into Frankish lands. And then uh, Umar ibn Halid is a mighty general, and he commands a large army that is arriving by sea. Alrighty. And he's got a bunch of stuff. Kufi. Uh, soon, help from the Frankish duchies will send us serfs and peasants that'll help us, but uh, yeah, we need to gather what resources we can. But we can build castles. We can even build a wonder for some reason. No town centers, but a wonder's fine. We are in the Imperial Age, so let's start getting relevant upgrades. All right. Okay, so here's the Frankish army. And they are busy... Uh, probably infinitely sieging Narbonne, which is the Cyan Goths once again from Tariq. Oh yeah, Charles will enjoy his lovely vacation in the castle.
and let's just see what is going on. This reminds me a lot of uh, Bari 1, the new, the new Bari 1. Let's get a couple mining camps. Uh, we are Christians. Our local abbey does not support war. Uh, if you bring us a relic, then perhaps we might be convinced to spill blood against the heretical Moors. We're probably going to want to get some halves. Does it say when Umar's Ibn Halid's army arrives? Oh, there's a relic. Do I have a monk? Then we must get one. Start getting some halbs. To sort of see what's going on, because obviously we have a very limited economy. Oh. What are you guys up to? Moors are attacking your camp! Oh, yes, they are. I guess we should send all of our reinforcements to the camp. Uh, you need our help, most certainly, or your lordship, uh, but our trading guild's master oversees our coffers and supplies. We lost sight of him during one of the Moorish raids. Okay, so we have to find a guy. A guild master. I didn't think they had guilds in the uh, 8th century, but uh, the more you learn. I hear treb sounds. That's not good. Well, we got through those forage bushes pretty quick. Oh, sick villagers. You've come to save us. Uh, okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, let's send these villas, repair their castle. You really want to make sure that their buildings stay alive. So, like, what do these guys actually give us? A thousand gold. Alrighty. I guess I will take that. And we cannot construct trebuchets. So I guess we'll have to rely on the power of capped rams. I'll rip that guy. Oh, we get siege rams again. That will be helpful. Um, how are we going to do this? Let's just bring you guys back over here for now. I don't have much of an eco, so I don't want to, like, overdo it with the production. Yes, I know Moors are attacking your camp. I'm working on it. Okay, but they want us to build towers in this village. That we can do once the area is a bit more secure. Um, this is actually pretty bad. Um, they have good upgrades. Again, we really should keep that repaired.
And yeah, knights plus halbs. Gonna be the uh, best army. Faux show. Start getting some towers. Just do that. The periodic villager reinforcements, but you still get a decent amount of them. Kind of reminds me of uh, Tamerlane 2. Yeah. I mean, 10 villagers is a pretty decent number. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Where are, where are you? Oh, that's unfortunate. Wait, if he's a trade card... Oh, here he is. It's Emperor in a Barrel! Hey. Oh, I guess I'll just put you on wood for now. I wonder if they'll give us uh, the stock and we can train fishing ships. Oh, well, that's unfortunate. And this should be five. Okay, just build a mill over there. Oh, yeah, send these guys here. Uh, which one was that for? Do not know. Okay, let's get back to attacking. Whoops, that was the wrong button. You've managed to win this time, Charles the Hammer, but I will not let you take this victory or something. Uh, that's kind of annoying. But no, attack! You clowns! Um... Getting the castle would be really big. And we do that. I need to get some more Reveals to build those towers, though. Thank you, Charles Martel. We will provide you with resources from our trading posts, or trading routes, and you can recruit volunteers from our village's town center for a few minutes, but no longer. Oh, okay. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> All right then, dude. Okay, now I think we can risk uh, training or building a few more production buildings. In a more forward location. Um, I just want to make sure I'm not blocking any of uh, our allies. Oh, 
Oh, this gather point is so bad. Oh, we're just in Villager City right now. And I ain't complaining. Also, I do see that relic over there. Sorry. Oh, we actually are going to need to build some more houses. Well, TC's gone. But we have 56 vills right now. Like, that's a pretty healthy amount. There you are. Let's try and get a forward castle up. All right. I will take it. Oh, our allies have paladins. Well, lucky you. Look at you with all the resources. Wait, can I build a dock? I can build a dock. Why did I think I couldn't build a dock? Get some fishies. You can almost afford Paladin. Gonna creep forward with castles. Didn't I have a monk at some point trying to get that relic? Oh, he probably died to this castle. Oh, that's a bit ambitious, actually. Okay, we'll do you. Almost got that. Let's get um, a forward workshop or two. Very nice timing on the resources. Okay, well, there's one more village we actually have yet to visit. We visited this one, and this one, and this one. There must be someone somewhere else. Send a couple more to wood, a few more to food. I don't know, another one to gold. Oh yeah, Seed Ram. That would be very helpful. Maybe even get a monastery a bit closer. Even have our plus one attack. 
It's like we're Lithuanians with one relic. Ah, Bills, no. Uh, it would be nice to grab chemistry for sure. Uh oh, purple. Trebuchets. Oh, this is a pretty darn concentrated attack. Yes, I know. I'm working on it. Mamelukes. I mean, this is just kind of a tricky composition for Franks to deal with. Workshops. Uh, let's fall back for our reinforcements. Fall back to our reinforcements, rather. Yeah, they don't have a market. Uh, this is a little scary. I mean, our population isn't really going anywhere, both positive or negatively. Send you guys to the front lines. Okay, looks like we're starting to push them back. And things should be easier once we start defeating their camps. Um... Well... Okay, maybe we're a little ambitious. A little too ambitious, that is. Is there something else I should be going for? It's kind of just a numbers thing. Uh, those are gold miners. I can just go over here. Get to the castle! Oh, 
All right. Another one of you guys. Chemistry would be pretty helpful, but I'm not sure if it's worth it over just more units in the short run. This is definitely pretty tricky. But our eco is getting to be pretty decent at this point. Oh, wait, I never got that relic that was over here. Whoopsies. Oh, no. That is a huge freaking army. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Man, this is tough. Uh, maybe save the castle? Okay, now our allies are helping us out a bit more again. Maybe some extra throwing, throwing Axemen wouldn't go amiss. At least we already have Bearded Axe, you just have to get the Elite upgrade. And it's like we have, you know, we have 73 bills, it's not awful. But now our population is finally, finally starting to climb. Still be smart about this.
Yeah, throwing Axeman, Elite Throwing Axeman is an expensive upgrade. Uh, scratch what I just said. We are not doing fine at all. Oh, boy. Come on. There we go. Oh, man. Come on. Dang, are we losing this? I think we might be, honestly. Oh, there goes our allied castle. And yet, we cleaned this up. Not without heavy loss, but we cleaned it up. Try and get another castle up, I guess. These resource reinforcement replenishments are uh, very helpful. But okay, we were ascending at like 100 population for a really long time. Now we're up to like 140. So again, I'm feeling like a little bit more optimistic now. Get some more houses up at home. Almost done with that castle. We'll help you, but we're at great risk. Uh, the Berbers might butcher us. 500. Oh. Wait, where, where is this village? Oh, it's over here. 
Wait, 1,500 gold? Well, what have I got to lose? Wait, where are they? We will fight for you. Perfusion? It seems like it's probably too little too late. I know. They've been doing it literally constantly. Whoa, that is some long-range mining. What? Oh my god, there has to be like a trebuchet here or something. Just got to keep on pushing. I mean, perfusion does help a lot. Oh, there's another relic there. I guess we can uh, try and get these to a safer monastery. Okay, I guess do that. Oh my god, where is that stupid trebuchet? Does it, is it not shooting it? I'll take it. Um, where are my paladins? my army <laughs> I 
Oh god. Yikes. We're just going to run low on gold very soon. I got all my upgrades. Just do our best to keep our army grouped up. Oh, here's Purple's base. Okay, more Vills. Kind of need more Lumberjacks. And we just lost 40 pop like that in the blink of an eye. Wow. I think we're going to have to give this one a redo, guys. So, yeah. Next time, uh, we're, we're going to give this one another shot. Maybe it's one of those things where if we just redo it and play the opening a bit smarter, we can snowball our advantage more. But, yeah. Big yikes. Well... Still, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you all next time.